the one and only, now known as Way Stand Up, Stand Strong, because we're here to stay. Political panic. Uh, Matt yeah. DeMar, good morning, Matt. What's happening, man? How are you been? So uh, awesome. This is uh, this is taking off this uh, this music video of yours. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, things crazier things have happened, but yeah, make America great. You know, again, it's a uh, it's a new rap. It's uh, by me, political panic. If you could believe that one, <laughs> all you Holly Rock fans out there, um, you know, it's uh, something that you know I, I felt I had to do, and I put it out there, and we had some fun with it, and all of a sudden, it just took a life of its yeah. own. I mean, well, it's crazy. Well, you've always been a big uh, Donald Trump fan, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, I always like, you know what, I, Donald Trump, since I was since I was young growing up, I always, you know, it was always like he was always someone to look up to because he was he did real estate like I did. He was in developing, and, you know, he had, he had the, the book Art of the Deal. Yeah. He just was a really great developer. And, you know, as a young developer, which, you know, I do real estate, I'm also a restaurateur, mm-hmm. Um, you know, looking up to guys like that because you're a kid, you see guys like that from New York that are doing it big, and you always dream that you could be that big. And then when he ran to, for president, you're like, wow, this is amazing. And yeah. on top of the fact, you know, Trump is, is like, you know, he's the apprentice, and he does a lot of things as me as a person doing real estate and restaurants and, try, and being on TV and stuff that I've done yeah, in the yeah. past. It's kind of like something to look up to. It, You know, it's, not everyone likes what he has to say, but, you know, at the end of the day, the bottom line is the guy is a businessman. He surrounds himself with smart people. And if he doesn't become president, we're in trouble. You know, it was a very nicely done, I think very well done video, song. Altogether, it sounds good. Um, has In the report that, that we played for, I think, a, a local news station near you, it said that it was written for Trump to basically play as like an entrance theme when he goes to rallies and stuff. Does he have this? Has he listened to it? You know, is he going to play it? it? Just, uh, we, we don't, we, it just went out. His people, the song just came out a couple days ago. You know, we put it up yeah, on YouTube, yeah. and then it, it just got sent to his people, believe it or not, yesterday. So he should, uh, hopefully, we will see he has it. But, you know, the interesting thing was last week uh, when I – when I just put the song out, I went to Fox with my attorney, and we had played it for some people there who were waiting to see it, Fox in New York, were waiting to see if they said they might do a story on us. Um, and when we left, uh, I think her name is uh, Katrina. Do you know the, uh, Katrina, the young lady that works with him? Um, she's, she, we ran into her on the street, and she lo- it was like coincidence. We just ran wow, into her. Wow. And she loved it, and she said to tweet it out to her, and I did. And... Um, you know, so it's definitely around his camp. Has he seen it yet? I'm not sure, but I'm sure once he does, you know, Trump is Trump is you know is a person that's a really strong personality. Yeah, at the yeah. same time, it's a very positive, fun song. So I think that when he sees it, he's going to really dig it because you know it's very catchy. And at the same time, it's a very positive thing for him. Well, you know, I got to tell you, uh, he's one of the areas that he's he's struggling is the millennials uh, with that millennial yep. crowd and the the, the voters. And this might, I mean, this is a classic rap song right here. This might do the trick. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think that it's funny you said that because I've had a bunch of people hit me up, like even people I didn't even know, and they're like, they said they heard the song, and they said at first they weren't sure. they were. And then when they heard it, they were like, you know what? It's like it's funny and it yeah. makes sense, and like I think I'm going to vote for him now. You know, I just <laughs> think that I think that people need to really understand what's going on and understand, like, you know, we're, we're the, we grew up on hip hop. That's right. what I say. My gener- I'm 48 years old right now. So I grew up on hip hop. And we're the first generation that really grew up on hip hop. Generation before us grew up on rock, right? Mm-hmm. And hip hop, yeah. the main thing, because in the 90s I was a rapper and I did it for a career, the main thing was always keeping it real. And the one thing about Trump, whether you like him or not, right. he just says what's on his mind. You know, I'm, I've been a developer so many years, and you know this, and I've been restaurants mm-hmm. and bars. Yep. And, you know, I was upstate doing stuff, and I left upstate. One of the reasons why is because it's. It's so much, the politicians, the people, they just all mislead you a lot. They just tell you so much crap half the time. And, like, a lot of us are just sick of it. We, it's so nice to see someone that wasn't a politician right. coming in and trying to get office. Because I think if someone's not a politician comes in, they can really fix and, and, and straighten yeah, it out. Yeah. I mean, my thought to you to say to everyone out there is I want everyone to think about this. These politicians that are career politicians, they're not businessmen, right? So how do they run towns? Right, and right. cities and countries. How do they do it? They never, they never ran a business in their life. Some of these people. Yeah. And so, how do they do it? So my, my thing is that we wonder why we're in so much debt and have so much money mm-hmm. problems. Well, maybe if somebody that was a business person stepped in and brought the right business people in, maybe we could solve some of these problems. It's not going to happen overnight. Well, maybe we could actually do it. And and that's why I, I came up and my voice is you know listen, I'm a guy from Long Island. Yeah. The restaurant business stuff like that. The only thing I can do is vote or try to try to yep. make a difference. 
three and, years. And you're That's all in. You're, you're all in on this. I mean, uh, I can see it. I mean, you are. Uh, you're a Trump fan. So uh, the the story's up on our website, wmbx 950com and check out the video. You'll see it, and uh, feel free to share it. I know Jim Zek has already shared it many, many times. Big Trump supporter up here, uh, right. uh, uh, Matt. So, um, all right. And, 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 and the, listen, I, I appreciate I appreciate all your support. And all my friends out there in Utica and Herkimer and, and the whole valley out there, I miss all you guys. And, and please, support. You know, it's political panic. It's uh, Make America Great. It's on YouTube. Check out the video. You know, I didn't do it for money. It's just for support. It's yep. out there. It's not like it's, you know, in the stores or anything. But check it out. You all know, right. and, uh, and please, and, and, and support it. Thanks. Got it's it. a fun video. So whether you like it Trump or not, everything is the bikinis, the girl, beautiful girls, and midgets. It's all there. It's classic rap right there. Uh, you well, got to love it. Listen, you know, you know me, Bill. I, I do. When I go out, I got to bring my crew. My you crew go, is always crazy. You go all out. <laughs> all right, Matt. Thanks for uh, thanks for checking in this morning. Thanks so much. God bless. You're all the right. best, man. Stay okay. well. All right. Thanks. Uh, Matt DeMar, formerly of Holly Rock. The video and uh, stories up on our website at WNBX950.com.